it's Kitty. Hi, Kitty. And today I'm going to be talking to you about BeautyCon London and my experience with it. Um, BeautyCon London was yesterday, and me and my mum went. It was it was kind of hard for me because I found out quite early on that there was going to be quite a lot of people there. And I don't do very well with a lot of people um, in in a big crowded space. So we got there and um, it was quite open. It was an open space. There was a lot of people there, but there was a lot of different stands. And um, it was quite refreshing. There was It was loud music and there was loads of um, different things that you could do. There was a, a photo booth and a big red carpet that you could take pictures on. Um, when we first got in there, we decided that we were going to have a look around. So we went and had a look around and there was different stands there. There was a Nick stand, which you can't get in the UK, you can only get on um, in America, which I found really, really exciting. So that was obviously one of the places that I wanted to go. Um, there was a benefit stand, there was a tart stand, which is also an American brand that you can't get in the UK, and there was there was a big stage, there was a massive stage where um, loads of panels were going to happen and different YouTubers would um, talk about different things like the business of YouTube and, and different bullying and stuff like that, which I found were quite, was quite good. Um, the first thing, the first place we went to was, we first went to Tarte. Tarte is an American brand and it's a beauty brand, so it does mascaras and it does um, eyeliners and different things. And I picked up a few things from Tarte. I picked up this makeup um, palette. Um, as you can see, it's quite a big makeup palette and it's it's got a really nice, it's nice and... Um, got a nice cover. So in the makeup palette it has six different eyeshadow shades. It's got a purpley colour. Um, it's got a really nice glitter which I've got on my lids at the moment. Um, it's got this kind of nude kind of uh, matte shade which is this one there. Um, it's got a brownie shade which is in the middle. Um, it's got a darker brown which you can use for the crease and it's got this kind of pinky colour which is nice for over the lid. It also comes with two different blushes. It comes with this really nice pink blush and it comes with this really nice brown blush. I really liked this palette because it had the mixture of the eyeshadows and the blushes. I have the I have the this one all over my lid, this colour here all over my lid, and then on in the crease I have this purple colour here. Um, as you can see, it's quite a natural look, um, but I like that for the summer. It, it's quite it's quite nice and fresh. So that was one of the products. What I like also like about this is it has a really nice big mirror. So if you want to travel with it, it's good because you don't have to take an extra mirror. So that was the first thing I bought from uh, the Tarte the Tarte um, counter. The next thing I bought from this Tarte counter is one of their blushes. This blush is a nice pink shade. As you can see, it's quite a nice pink shade. It's got a mirror. Um, I've really heard a lot about this online from other YouTubers and I've always really always really wanted to try it but obviously because I live in the UK um and Tarte doesn't really isn't really there in the UK it's hard to get a hold of so I was really excited that I could pick it up at Beautycon. This is in the in the is is called Flush and it is this really nice pink colour so I picked that up. I have it on my cheeks at the moment. It's gives you a quite nice flush of colour without being going too extreme. The other thing I got was this three um three pack of lip insurgents. Um it was ten pounds. 
just like the other two products that I saw. And it comes with three different colours. It comes with like a new colour in the middle. And it comes with a kind of orangey colour on the other side. And then a really nice pink. I'm going to open it now so that we can see what colour um, are in here. What, what they're like. Excuse the hair. It's a little bit... It's been a bit wicky, wacky today. So the first colour I got is is called is in the it says at the bottom CC fifty one. This is it's this nice kind of a uh, nudish pink colour. What I like about these is that they're quite small, so it's travel size. So you can have, put it in your handbag if you want to quick out on the go. Um, so that one's that one. This one is a kind of a darker pink shade. I'm going to do a swatch here now. That, as you can see, it's kind of like a kind of a dark pinkish colour, um, which I like. And I got, and it came with this kind of orangey colour as well. So it comes with three different opposite colours. I'll do a swatch here now. As you can see, this is that one. Um, this colour here is this one, which is C. Oh, it doesn't come with, it's called Everlasting, um, which is that one there. So uh, after that, we decided that we would go have a look. I went, um, I decided that it was time that, because I had the first turn, that we would, sorry about my hair, um, that I would give it a chance for my mum to go and um, have a chance to go. So she decided that she, because there was a Liz L um, big booth, so we decided to go to Liz L. And what was great about Beautycon is that they did a lot of contests and comp and things where you could post a picture and hashtag it on Instagram, and you get a freebie. So what me and my mum did that, and we got this gift bag. And in this gift bag was their cleanse and polish. It came with a tiny cleanse and polish and a hot cloth cleanser um, cloth thing, which was great because we always use these. I swear by this brand. I swear by it. It takes off all my makeup and it just leaves you, your skin so soft. Um, so we went there. We took a bit of a break after that because, as you know, I have cerebral palsy, so I find it difficult to go a long time with, with, without sitting down. So we decided to sit down and um, have something to eat and drink. And as we were doing that, um, we were sit we sat ourselves down next to the big um, um, talent lounge. And as we were we were sitting down, a lot of the talent and a lot of the YouTubers were coming out to see if they had done their panels to go. So I felt I I, I was really anxious about doing it, but. Well, I decided that I would go up to some YouTubers and ask for some pictures. So I'm quite proud of myself for that because I went up. The first one I went and I took a picture with was Blogilates. She's an American um, Pilates teacher thing, and she does a lot of videos with doing different Pilates moves, and she and um, she does a lot of. Um, she talks a lot about how health and keeping yourself healthy. And when I did that, I felt so proud of myself because I knew that it was hard for me to go up and ask people because I do find it really hard to talk to different people. So I did that. After that, in about 15 minutes later, Naomi Smart came out and I decided to take a picture with her. That was really exciting because I love her video so much. Um... And that was really cool. After we had taken the pictures and everything, we decided to we decided to go and watch one of the panels. So we watched a panel about beauty, beauty, how feeling beautiful inside and out. And a lot of these, and it was all about how it's not just it's all about inner beauty, and and not just the exterior. I during that I felt quite anxious because there was a lot of people. It was quite crowded, and it it was just it felt re I felt really 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 vulnerable, and I'm I got through it and I I got through it, and I just I knew that if I didn't do it then I'd be disappointing myself, 
after that, we went to the next counter um, booth, and when we got up to it, we found out that it was just one of those things where you put, post a picture and on Instagram and tag them, and then you get a freebie. So I got this when I I did it, and I and I hashtag Nix Lon loves London, and I got this this butter lipstick it's in this kind of fuchsia shade and it's called razzle fiesta i'm wearing it on my lips right now it's quite a really dark fuchsia pink which is really nice for summer because it can it can i really like bold lips on in the summer because it's really vibrant and it kind of just lights your face up so that's what i got from after that, we decided to have another break because it was getting quite packed. It was getting more and more packed and there was a lot more people. So we decided to sit back down and take a break because at, because at four o'clock I had I was gonna I was going to go to the um, to get my nails done. Sorry about that. I completely forgot. Completely <laughs> forgot what I was saying. Um, so at, that was at four o'clock. So we had to wait. Um, so we sat down and we had a drink and everything, and um, we saw the benefit counter was quite um, low and in, in the queues were quite short. So we went decided to go in. Though unfortunately there was no roller lashes left, so we decided to leave that for a while. And about half an hour, 45 minutes later, we went back. That was, it was so good because I saw it. We were sitting down and me and my mum was going, oh my God, mum, there's roller lash. That, that, that woman's carrying roller lash into the benefit counter. So she hurried over. And obviously, what was really great about it is that the people who were running it already knew what we were wanting the roller lash. So they got us through quite quickly. And, and my mum bought it. So I've got the roller lash here. I have it on on my eyelashes at the moment that you probably can't see. But if you want me to do a tutorial using the roller lash and any of the other products um, that I'm showing you today, then just um, comment in the box. Uh, use, use a comment and I'll do that. Um, so I I was really excited about that because I've heard a lot of people loving roller lash and how you don't have to use curlers because it curls your lashes itself and I thought I was really great about that so after that we it was about 15 minutes to my nail appointment so we went and we went to do the nails I sat down and obviously I was quite skeptic because my arm doesn't work very well and I find it and I do get quite anxious and worried about what if something goes wrong um so I was so glad that my mum was there and we got what was great about it is it was free we got on my nails done for free so I got this color it's kind of like a neon pink it's a gel um, polish so it lasts for up to two weeks um, so I got them done and, and everything and it was half price so I bought the kit to do myself so I bought this kit, it came with, sorry about my arm, I'm having to go across my laptop. Um, it, came, it came with this LED lamp, which you can put four things, four nails in at the same time. It lasts for 45 seconds, so you hold the, your nail underneath for 45 seconds, and then it will be done. I also got this kit, it came with this kit here. And in this kit, it comes with, you use this to take off your nail polish before, and it's called a race. So you get a cotton bud, and you just go over it, and it takes it off. After that, um, it also came with the Purify, which takes off any extra gunk and stuff. It came with all the right ink things that, that the person who did my nails did. Um, it also came with a bright red colour. Th this was £45. Um, there was also a deal where you could get four other colours for £20. And of course, I was going to jump on that. So I got 
the same colour which is on my nails at the moment, which is this colour. It's called 188 Star Power. Um, I also got this blue colour, and later on I'm going to paint my mum's nails with it. And this is called... What's it called? It's called... I don't think this has a na name. What is this? Oh, it's called Paradise Blue in 228. I really like this colour. It's quite nice and beachy. I also got this other pink colour because I'm like obsessed with pink. You can see in my background everything's pink. Um, and this is called Take a Bow. So it's a nice pinky colour. Um, and the next one I got was it's called sunset sunset over sag harbour in 218 and it's this nice pink color okay so that was all like what i got from beautycon and if you're ever thinking about going to beautycon it's a great thing to do if you if you're like me and a little bit anxious then i would i would tell you to do it because it's always good to try something new and everything so, today, me and my mum decided that, just, uh, just an extra thing for you, today we decided that we were going to go into town. So, last night after we did the panel, we watched, me and my mum watched two, we watched Viviana Does Makeup, which is another um, beauty guru on YouTube and we did Lily Pebbles and we were so inspired by some of the things they had seen and were raving about that we went and we got them we went out and we got some so the first place we went to was Superdrug and I've got my big Superdrug bag here look my big bag of Superdrug goodies so let's see what I've got in here so first of all I, it wasn't because of what um, Lily Pebbles and, and Viviana does makeup um, shown, but I have been I've been um, been seen on YouTube raving of people raving about this. So I got the Zoella Fizz Bar fragrance Fizz Bar Fizzer, and I'm going to try and use this tonight. So I will tell you in my next video if this is a great thing to, to um, purchase. I also got in the Zoella range this blissful mistful perfume. It smells incredible. You can try and see, smell that. It smells incredible. It smells like jasmine and oh, just flowers, which is really nice. So I got that. I also got, which I saw, which um, Lily Pebbles were raving about, was the Rimmel Oh My Glosses. So I got this reddish colour. And it looks like this. Let's do a little swatch. It looks like that. Um, that the one at the end. That is a. It's a really nice red. And if you want a subtle red, um, with just a hint of blossom, this is your. This is your colour. I don't think it has a name. It's just. It's. It says that it's. Oh, it's Rebel Red. So this is called Rebel Red, so I got that one. I also got this B makeup brush cleanser. Oh my hair is really weird today. Um and it's um a brush just a normal brush cleanser because I'm a little bit silly and I don't always wash my brushes, although I should. Um so I got that to wash my brushes. And the last thing I got from, oh, there's two things I got. I got two things. The last two things I got, I got the number 38 in the Kate Rimmel collection by Kate. And it's this kind of pinkish nude. And I thought, I'm starting work now and I'm, I'm trying to find a nice nude, uh, neutral look for work. And I thought, this would be perfect for work. So I might use that work um, for work. And I was needing a new eyeliner, so... I've heard a lot about this scandalised eyeliner, so I got it in the chubby one, and it goes, oh, um, and it goes along like this, like that. It's just a nice big chubby eyeliner, which I really like. Um, sorry for not swatching this one. I'll do it now. 
Um, and this one is a bit like, it's just nice pinkish colour. Um, you can see at the top here, it's nice pinkish colour with a bit of a nude, so it's quite subtle, which I like. Um, so that's all I got from Superdrug. Um, next up, we went. I went to Boots. Actually, I didn't get anything from Boots. We went, I went to Clinton's. Clinton's cards. Because I was needing a new... This, is, this, this video is going on forever. I'm sorry about that. A new candle. So I got this new candle. And it's... Um, and it's. I don't really know what brand it is. But it's called Pearled Jasmine. It smells divine. It smells like jasmine just up on one level so I really like that so I got that oh I can't put this back on oh there we go and um, so I got that and the last is I'm getting to the end guys I'm really getting to the end um the last thing I got was I went into Dorothy Perkins I've got I've got to love Dorothy Perkins in all the hauls I've done there's always something from Dorothy Perkins, and I and it's this this kind of nice flowy kind of trousers. I thought it'd be perfect for the summer days, and just for perfect for work or anything really. So I got that. Um, that's all I got, guys. Um, just comment. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, if you want to see any more different videos, then comment down below. And until next uh, weekend. Don't forget to sparkle and shine.